alcalde. Ngunit hindi ko inaasahan ng isang masamang tao pala maabot ako dito. Pasensya na, sen Ang indio, kahit na anong bihis... Oh my god, inuntog din ako. Chick, na walang pala ng palataya! Taro. Tagal nang sinasabot ng palataya. Oh my god, dumuluwa naman ako. Ang bayan na ito. Oh my god. Yo no no. Oh my god, tu ini kita tu ni yang nak aku. Hey guys, the name is Jasper, and welcome back to another reaction video. It's the last day of the week. That means it's the last day. I mean, it's the last episode for this week. So episode fifty. Um, bago yon. Ano ba sayang kung ano mga comments niyo? Una sa lahat, um, I've been reading some of the comments kasi um, suddenly there's just um, like a big surge of subscribers and I believe na nagagaling to sa isang tao. Um, I think this is um, a part of um, his fan base which is um, from Kuya Kiko. Kuya Kiko um, or other people call him Okiks. Okay, kasi yata. Hey, um, Kuya Kiko or Kix, um, thank you so much for even recommending um my channel um to your fan base. I really appreciate it. Um, I would like to see like um, well, you did you did leave a comment here sa isa ko yata sa mga video. Pero hey, um, if you're watching. If you're also a fan of Manek Lara de Barra, you know, maybe leave a comment there and I can reply to your comment because I would like to, um, you know, interact with you more and stuff like that. And for the fan base, for the people who subscribe to my channel because of Kuya Kiko's um, recommendation, thank you so much. Um, basically, yeah, I'm I'm assuming na um kasi di ko makita yung like yung pinaka source ng ano eh na ma nag ma bag uh, itong new wave of subscribers sa akin so di ko ma uh, di ko ma search pero I'm assuming na it's this is like from a uh, a P-pop community or something like that look I like Filipino music I like Filipino music like talaga it's the thing is the Filipino music that I listen to are very classic OPMs, um, OPMs from the seventies, hanggang sa early two thousands. <laughs> um, rarely I will listen to new songs. Um, but slowly I'm getting into it more. Um, I'm not sure about P pop. Um, but I do listen to like more more modern um chill rap songs na na Tagalog. I listen to. The first thing that comes to mind is the songs from Alex Bruce, yung batang yon na napanggaling magrap and yeah I listen to her songs. Um, anyways, na gireple ako sa iba sa mga comments yon dito, pero I'm going to read them again just to give more context about my comments. But again, sa mga bagong subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Yes, I usually do. And until recently, um, reaction videos of Mana Clara Tebara. Um, this is not going to be a permanent thing. Um, I am, I am, I'm not, I am, I'm, I am not planning to make my channel as a reaction channel. But I do like doing reactions, though. I just like doing reactions on stuff that I like to watch, and not on stuff that doesn't interest me. Um, that's just me. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, you know. Um, I don't like the 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 stuff that you guys are suggesting. I'm uh, suggesting is is it's just that, um, you know. Um, in order for a reaction video to be, like, really good. The viewer, the YouTuber, should also be, like, very interested. The mismo content na pinapanood niya. Diba? It makes the reaction more authentic. Hindi mo kailangan mag-act, um, mag-do fake acts just to make the reaction video more entertaining. Diba? But that's, that's just me. I, am, I approach reaction videos very differently. 
And, you know, I also like doing a lot of analysis on the content, on the content that I have seen. But again, that's just me. Um, there's a chance, but you know, I, I do listen to people, um, to the, uh, to the comments. Someone actually recommended me watching a music video featuring like some Filipino tribe, something like that. I am planning to watch that. I've seen that music videos of Facebook, but I haven't seen it the entirety on the clips of it. And, you know, I'm looking forward to doing a reaction to it in the future. I like fully watch it and watch the the side video na ko saan si yung isang Filipino historian sa no sa na YouTuber na nimo si Kuya something where he did an analysis on that video diba anyways uh we got like 48 comments here so I'll try to do my best to answer to all of your questions I'm sorry na lang if kailangan ko mag-skip ng ng comments pero um I don't have like a lot of time to reply to all of your comments. I would love to, but yeah, unfortunately, um, um, kuna sa oras like um like everyday super kuna sa oras. But you know, um, if you guys leave a comment, there's a ninety percent chance that I'm going to reply to them, and that's the thing that I've been doing for several weeks now. It's my way to interact with you guys. Because I just like interacting with you guys. I like to talk about the stuff that I like to talk about with people who shares the same interest with me. And in this case, Mare Clara Atibara. Okay, let's start with the very bottom right here. Okay, Fed says. Fed says, super cute at alupo uh, ni Naklay at Mare Clara. That's true. Um, I love the scenes. Not only I love Seeing the scenes where they are together. I love the scenes that was on this episode. They're like just kids. Right? They're like kids. So I really appreciate those scenes. Um, thank you for writing that in feds. Okay, John Evans. John Evans wrote in Jasper. Ang epic effect. Ang face. Pogi. Yeah. Actually, hindi ko mag na sabing epic na... Nagkala ko parang punchline yun na something na parang meron pa siya sasabihin. Pero I was getting the context na baka yung nga, pogi nga ang minimin ni Clay. Diba? Pero that's, that's my first time. That's my first exposure to the epic word. Um, na slang, I'm assuming. Kasi um, I haven't heard of that thing before. Given na wala na sa Pilipinas ngayon. So, I just find that thing interesting. Thank you for writing that in, Joms. Um, James Gunna Iron, you would um, wrote an epic guapo. Yep. Um, yung nga, yung nga do, yung sabihin na lang. Thank you for writing that in. Yauchi, a flooded ng link nito sa group chat namin. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, sa group chat nga. Sa group chat yata ng anong kakasubs ng group chat yata ng people community yun. Pero, ah, save sa kanila. Okay, kasi nung yung kay Kiko, present po. Pero yeah, again, hey, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel i really appreciate it i got nothing else to say but i am like super grateful like insanely grateful na you know um even a person like um kuya kiko would and even other people would you know you know will would exert some effort just to recommend my channel to other people um it means na i might be doing something right and it means na hey if some people find this my videos um helpful or something like that then i'm a happy human being you know um it feels like i'm doing something for society diba <laughs> but you know at the same time it's it's just a guy i'm i'm no one i'm nobody but i'm just a guy who likes to talk about the stuff that i'm interested in so again, thank you for writing that in. Okay, Twink Kiddo. Ah, reaction video pala. Most of the content mo, boss. Yeah, reaction video po. Um, for the meantime, reaction videos. Kasi tinatapos ko yung Maria Clara Pero, ah oh God, I have a lot of plans um, for my YouTube channel. I've been doing YouTube since 2009, I believe. And if you guys look at my YouTube, at my videos, and dami kong attempts na tinanay 
para just to keep this um YouTube channel up and running. I think my focus on Filipino content became the thing that drove my YouTube channel forward. <coughs> <coughs> especially my rea- my reaction video to Darna yung review ko sa um sa movie ni Joko which is in Easter Sunday even though that thing got a lot of um um negative um negative uh, you know dislikes and negative comments i stand by with my opinion about that movie i like it but it's not funny um it is what it is but thank you yeah thank you for writing that in twink um Okay, Jaskier wrote in, done subscribing from PH Artist Community. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually rep, um, replied to your comment. I think part ako ng, if this is a Facebook group, I, I think part ako ng grupo na to. Kasi may mga genuine ako ano eh. Member ako ng Guhit Pinas. Member din ako ng isa pang Filipino artist community group sa Facebook. So there's a chance na baka member din ako nito. Pero ginu, um, ginu, hinanap ko sa Facebook para wala makita. But if that is the case, um, if this is coming from the PH artist community, which is not from Kuya Kiko, I'm assuming, then it really means that my um my reach is getting wider. The way that we put ibang someone out there is recommending my channel to other people, which is something that I'm really happy to think about. So whoever that person is, thank you for being a good Samaritan and helping my channel grow. Thank you so much. Um, so the money Raten Raten Rat sorry Rataneo. Aha, na derek ako dito ni Boss Okix. Um, post pala. Yeah, yung ato sabi in which in which I am very thankful of. Um, there's there's I like seeing when you know. People try to help themselves up. Uh, no, no, no. When, pe- when people try to help other people to get themselves up, the right? In this case, Kuya Kiko, who I'm assuming has a big fan fan base, using his um his influence to um to put myself out there, um out there, some mga taong um not aware about my channel, and you know what? I am very thankful about it. I'm super thankful about it. Um, thank you for writing that in Wataneyo. I'm hey, I'm I'm assuming some mga baba subscribers. I'm I'm just assuming now, you know, um from time to time I will be able to, you know, engage with you guys again in, in the in future videos. Cause you know, I like I like talking to new people. Not in person, may I know in person, but in chat, yeah, but the love chat. All right. Um, MJ Versa wrote in, I'm a couple million, but I can say the quality of uh, Mika is superb. Yeah. Um, I think I left a comment here in a snap. Uh, yeah, kapabilya ako. At the very early stages of my childhood, I'm a big fan of GMA. I watch a lot of GMA shows. Darna, um, some some part of Encantadia, Super Twins, Asian Treasures. They also have this game show, Kusan host mismo si Robin Padilla. Kung saan yung mga artista, kailangan mag, ano, mag-try na lang, magtrabaho ng mga, ng mga normal, average Filipino nung mga panahon na yun. Um, but yeah, I became an abs event person. Um, pero I also stopped watching TV. But um, coming back to GMA with Maria Clara at Ibarra was the best way to come back to GMA kasi the amount of quality in Mikai is just simply astonishing. Uh, that's that's all that I can say. Thank you so much for writing that in MJ. And um, passenger fourteen wrote in um na pa subscribe na din. Whoa, 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 ha, ha. Um the gaming cup cover lots. Yes. Um thank you so again first thank you for subscribing to my channel Passenger 14. Yes, I am a huge video gamer. Um I don't do like esport and esports and stuff. I do like playing Counter Strike, uh, sometimes Overwatch, um, kinda Valorant. Um, I try everything there, everything out there. Right now, my main games are Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield 2042, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. 
and sometimes Warzone too. And I also do VR gaming. I got the VR headset right there. It's charging. I play other games like The Sims, um, SimCity, um, Valve, uh, Valve games like Portal, Half-Life. I try a lot of games like PlayStation 4 games. Um, I can say that I'm I'm a jack in I'm a jack of all trades. Pag dating sa mga video games, mapa first person man yan, mapa third person, mapa RPG stuff like that. And yeah, I'm a huge gamer. Um, I'm hoping to you know share of my love for gaming sa channel na to in the future. But right now, my focus is all about like basic um the art of Filipino media. Diba? That includes Filipino movies and um, Filipino TV shows and stuff like that. Thank you so much for writing the in passenger. Um Okixi. Oh, ito si Okixi. Oh, ito sir. Um thank you so much sir. Yeah, ikaw pala do um nagre ako sa inyo. Um I got nothing else to say but you know Zero kicks. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for using your influence to help uh help a fellow brother out, right? Every every big YouTubers out there started from like the, from the very from the from the very bottom, the right? I've been at the bottom since two since two thousand nine. And if you guys look at my videos, there I have a lot of like videos um in the past. Um, even before my also playing vlogging, I've been doing vlogs, even way before Will Dasovich, the right? But it's just that I didn't see YouTube as um as like my main thing. As much as I like getting audience, some of my videos go because a video is something that you really work on, and you know. You want your videos to be seen by other people, diba? Right? But at the same time, you know, I just see YouTube as a hobby whenever I'm uploading videos and stuff like that. I don't see this thing as a, like, a potential career path. You know, other people rely their income through YouTube, um, through YouTube ads and stuff like that. I don't see myself as being that kind of person uh, right now. I got my other dreams. I wanted to be a film director. I wanted to work in film in general. But, you know, in some way, making YouTube videos is also related to that field, right? So, film, so film stuff. So, um, Mr. Okix, thank you so much. Thank you so much for putting me step, um, um, putting me, giving me the, the giving me, the pathway closer to my end goal, which is basically be within the media industry. And I think YouTube is a good stepping stone for that. Thank you so much again, sir. Um, Okix. Okay. So, Tabani, um, Mika O. Napasin siguro ni Andeng ang pagalis ng dalawa. Kaya sanabi ka agad kay Tia Isabel, then sakto nandoon din agad si Kapitan Chago. Ayan, yung nga, ang bilis nilang dumating. Kila Cresos na makasiguro nga dahil malit na lugar lamang ang San Diego. I believe so, yeah. Alam na kung malit na lugar ngayon San Diego. Ikalawang hug moment na po sila manakala. Ah, ikalawang mo na ba yun? Yung eksena sa ilog ay maganda view. Then, ah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yun nga pala yung unang yakap na. And then, pangalawa yung, ano. Yung buti na alam mo yun ako. Nalimutan ko na talaga yun. Even though that thing happened like last week, di ba? Ang cute rin nila Fidel at Clyde. Wow, kilig much. Yeah, I just like seeing them. Um, actually, kinikilig ako pero kinakunting ko lang kilig ko dahil naiya ko. Na, naiya kong ipakita yung yung kilig face ko. Kasi I've I've rewatched some of my videos during those killing moments and I'm like, oh my god, I look pathetic here. So nahiya ako. <laughs> Pero eh um tama po kayo, huhuhu, maangamba na sila sa masusunod na pangyayari kasi ma-aware sila kung ano yung maging dahilan ng trahedya sa love story nila. Yeah. 
That's the sad part. Um, mangingialam na ulit si Clay sa story dahil nagdanais na muli siyang tumulong para hindi mangyari na talaga. That's the thing. I said on um in this video na whatever kind of progress na gawin ni Clay para maiwasan yung trahedya, it feels like na lalong, pal- lalong lalapit na lalapit na yung trahedya once na she tries doing some fixing, di ba? The more she helps, the more dangerous the tragedy is, di ba? The, the, more the, 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 the more the tragedia is getting closer to all of them. Kaya, it's better, I think, even though it's inevitable na mangyari yung trahedya, I think it's better na wala na nang gawin si Clay. Pero, you know, knowing Clay, ah, makulit siya. Okay, back to reality na ulit sa mga susunod na episode. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, thank you for writing that in, Mika. Um, that was next. Oh, by the way nga pala, um, I've seen Mika O's uh, vi- video. Sometimes, um, ang gagawin ko sa mga nag- comment dito tinitignan ko YouTube channel. I've seen Mika O's videos and she does a lot of um, cosplay stuff um, in a budget, especially like anime characters. Um, I really like her. Co- I really like her content. If ever I'm going to like, you know cosplay like an anime girl, I might follow her video, her tutorials, and might do um those things. And you know, I'm a big fan of anime. Super big fan of anime. I just don't watch them like every day. I like Naruto. I like, but I'm I'm more of a guy na who likes watching slice of life. Anime like Plastic Memories. Plastic Memories was my first anime, and not na na series. I also like Your Name, uh, Weathering with You. Um, and then your latest movie, the director na Weathering with You, but Your Name. I think uh, Mikao made a video featuring that female character sa latest movie na yon. So hey, if you guys want to, um. watch that kind of content Mika O has that content and yeah thank you so thank you again so much for that Mika okay um Yauchi wrote in nasa 36 pa lang ako sa GMA sites kung siya pinapanood ayoko mas full hey you know what's great about YouTube is that you can put them aside you can do some kind of research I make at my get a new reaction video sa episode 36 so if nasa 36 cup um, why not watch my reaction video to 36 para may kasama ka and yeah I'm um, thank you for writing that in Yauchi yeah some people might think na okay kabunod daw Maria Clara laging updated you know there's always a huge chance that there are other people out there na hindi sila updated at all kasi you know It takes a lot of dedication and time para mando ng teleserye araw-araw, especially when you're a busy person, di ba? You really have to put an hour sa schedule mo, sa kalendaryo mo para mando ng isang show. And I'm a person who likes to organize stuff in my own calendar. And, you know, para sa akin, every day na uwi ako, ganyang trabaho, I do this thing. And after this, direction na tulog, yun yung trabaho na naman. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright. P-pop art. I uh, wrote in. Yeah. Ito yung, ito yung ano, ito yata yan eh. Yung music video. I hope magkariag ka sa Alamat Kasmala. Music video. And Pinoy history ng Kirby Arolio. Ayun si uh, Kirby Arolio pala yung breakdown of Alamat Kasmala symbolism. Para may palawara ka symbolism. It may be good content about Filipino. Hey, I'm going to do that. I am already planning to do that. Um, P um P pop art. Nakita ko yung comment mo and I'm and I did a quick Google search. Yep. Yung nga yung ano yung nga pala yung yung clip na nakita ko sa Facebook na I was really curious about. I'm going to react to it because basically when it comes to Filipino history, I'm a big fan of it. So, um, thank you for putting this thing in my radar. Um, P pop art and I will surely do a reaction to it. Maybe sometime in the sometime in the near future. Hopefully this month. Okay, thank you so much for that, Peepop. Alright, is it not the money? Extina Aguilera Pinoy Fighter. 
Ah, uh, sinend lang to, ng, to sa fan group chat namin. Thank you, subscribe. Thank you so much for that. Um, Xtina, again, stuff like this just makes me really happy. It really makes my day. Kasi it goes to show na, you know, people, there are people out there that really cares about my videos and the fact that someone actually went all their way to put a link of my channel in, in a group chat, then that means na, hey, I might be doing something right here. So again, thank you so much for writing that in Xtina. Okay. Oh, there's another Xtina. May dalawang Xtina dito. Xtina Fighter PH. Ba't madaming fighter dito? Uh, I thought Music Reactor. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, no. Um, um, hindi ako Music Reactor. I'm sorry to... Sorry about that. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to music, but when it comes to music, I just like listening to OPM music na from the 70s to the um, early 2000s. And I also like to listen to very old um, Western music, American songs. Yung mga kanta sa Guardians of the Galaxy, stuff like that. I like listening to um, Elton John, um, The Beatles, Bee Gees, Eagles, Air Supply. Yung mga kinakata ng mga tito sa karaoke. That's that's my taste in music. Uh, thank you for writing that in. Exina, um, Magiliw Girl wrote in. New subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing, Magiliw. Um, sana may music video reaction kayo na P-pop. Um, alamat, Kasmala, or um, Abacada. Interesting. I haven't heard of Abacada before. Tignan natin itong Abacada na to. Keep up. Ah, isa din kumano. Isa din kumanta. Yeah. Um, I might sa abakada na to. Pero yung kasmala, ito talaga. Um, balak, plana, planata na itong kasmala. Tama, kasmala ba yung sabi? Yeah, planata na itong kasmala na to. But you know, I'm happy that the, this peep up thing is like, <coughs> di ba parang recent lang to, recent lang to. It's rising. I hope this peep up genre will go somewhere in the future. Di ba? Because we got K-pop, we got J-pop. I think there's um Filipinos are very talented. Filipinos can dance. Filipinos can sing. Then so why not mix everything up and hopefully. More people bands will come out just like um yung bandang um tawag ba sa kanila ng banda or dance group guys sa alamat di ba so that's pretty awesome I just more Filipino um talent showcases is better I think thank you for writing that in Magilio um GF ni you know GF ni Zayo we assume dito na magkakasakit daw si Maria Clara. Huh. Okay. I think everybody knows na nagkasakit si Maria Clara sa libro. Sabi ko na baka magkasakit siya dahil sa, pag, uh, dahil sa jealousy niya kay, kay Clay. Jealousy niya in a way na nagsiselos siya sa ideology ni Clay at hindi re- related kay Ibarra. Pero kung magkakasakit siya dito, yeah, there's a chance kasi papalapit na rin tayo sa, ganong, sa part ng chapter ng books eh. Yeah. I think you're not, you're not wrong about this, um, GF. But, you know, I think you're right. We'll see. We'll see in the uh, in the coming episodes. Thank you for writing that in. Isa na daman ni Peepop, Uncle Aunt. Um, shared sa Peepop fan group yung nga daw. Um, I'm subscribing na. Thank you so much. Nagbabu si Mr. Torres, si Fidel nga. Um, nagbabu si Mr. P- ah, yun, nagbabu siya. Mm. I find it I find it really cute whenever like the older generation tr- tries to use our slang, <laughs> diba? Pero you know, there's this theory na lumalabas na baka nga si Mr. Torres at si Fidel ay isa. Um, I don't. That will be weird though. That will be really weird. 
Pero, I mean, nagsimula lang yung tiro niya dahil sa pananamit na lang pareho, di ba? Pero, you know, even in the past, clothing can be a trend, di ba? So, it's just coincidence, I think, na pareho yung suot nila kasi yun ang trending during that time. Pero, if ever gagawin na lang si Fidel, pati si Torres, ay isa, eh, not a fan. I think everything doesn't need to be connected, di ba? Pero again, um, I'm not a fan of the Mr. Torres and Fidel EIA sa thing theory. I, yeah, not a fan of that. I'm thinking for writing that in Peep Up. Alright, um, Julius Christopher wrote in. New maniligaw ka, pero apakayabag. <laughs> yeah, iba ka talaga, Fidel. Um, yeah, that's true. Yung nga napansin ko, nagpapakamayabag. Pero hey, si Fidel, hindi marunong maniligaw. Di ba? That's his way of trying to Um, pursue Clay, di ba? In the case na baka magusta ni Clay ang naririnig, ang naririnig niya kay Fidel, di ba? You can, we can blame Fidel for that, pero I find it like really, really cute. Um, effect means my chance o tinablan si Clay sa kapogi at ni Fidel. Yeah, yun din, na, yun din yung parang nakukuha kong gist about it, pero I just, I, hindi lang 100% sure. Pero you know, other people, Um, below already confirmed it na yun nga. Epek is kapugian. Diba? Cute ang extent ng pagdarasal na may konting chismisan. Yeah, that's true. I just want to see more of those kinds of scenes between Clay at Maria Clara, especially when Clay told Maria Clara na ang, gan- ano, ang ganda-ganda mo, parang ganon. I find it like, ah, it's something that human beings just do, diba? Kaya that's my criticism with with film and TV shows in general, sometimes the dialogue between two characters are just too... It feels like very scripted given they have a script, but it feels na each words were properly written down instead of moments na talagang Like joke jokes and sila, ganun, ganun. Just normal stuff because that's how people communicate in real life, diba? You don't hear a lot of ums, uh, yung mga ganun, ganun sa mga movies kasi it's it's boring, diba? But in real life, we use ums, ganun, ganun. Ako naglagi yung nag-um, naglagi yung hmm. Sometimes it takes me several seconds to think about a response. Uh, diba? Ganun yun in real life eh. And Nike, basically what I'm trying to say is that so far yung dialogue sa Maria Clara Tibara is very authentic. You know? There are times na medyo over the top. But, the mo- but the most of the times, it's authentic and that's why I really like the show. Um, Your channel's growing, Jasper. Yeah. um, Yeah, napapasin ko nga maraming new subs. And ako comment, congrats for to come and good luck. Thank you so much for writing it in, um, Julius. Yeah. Um, it's, um, while it's growing, you know, there's still a chance na this channel will just, will just um go, like, masi- bumaksak ng ganon. Kasi when it comes to YouTube, ang pinaka- kalaban mo dito yung algorithm ng YouTube. Swerte so, ka kapag nire-recommend mismo ng YouTube yung channel mo to other people. You're very lucky about that. I got lucky with that when I did my reaction video sa, sa trailer ng Maria Clara Tibara. I got really lucky with that. Kaya kung titingnan nyo, yung mga videos ko sa episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Magkita nyo parang umabot, umabot yata ng 3,000. Ganun, ganun yata. Si um, let's say ito, 27,000 views yun sa trailer. Okay. Episode 1, 8,000. 16,000 sa episode 2. 11,000 sa episode 3. ba diba? It, this this is around the time na nire-recommend ng YouTube yung channel ko mismo to other people. Pero um, right now, itong mga views ko na nasa 900, 600, nasa hundreds na lang, ito yung mga 
taong litra na nang nag-subscribe sa channel ko. Kaya magtataka kayo, bakit bakit nasa 300, nasa 600? Ba't hindi umaabot ng 1,000 new views mo? Kung 3,000 subscribers mo? Well, it's because um, bago ko bago ako mag-react sa Maria Clara content, I got 2,500 subscribers. And those 2,500 subscribers ay nanggaling sa mga lumang videos ko which are all random stuff. I did some reactions on other stuff. Pero habang tumatagal ka, mababa ka, it's just random stuff. There's a vlog. I tried doing, reviewing movies, um, stuff. A parody. Um, another vlog. Nagpaparashoot ako dito. Weight loss. Um, eating challenge. Yeah, I... Is, is, and... Itong mga to, you know, gaming, itong mga to, lahat ng galing sa doon ko nakuha yung 2,500 subscribers ko. Kaya, um, basically, my, my YouTube channel doesn't have an identity at all. Right now, it's a reaction channel, but if you look at my entire portfolio here, it doesn't have an identity. It's mix. Kung hindi computer, it's about gaming. Kung hindi gaming, it's about Uh, reactions that's the thing but we'll see we'll see um tira natin kung sa pupunta tong youtube channel na to i hope nothing but the best for it pero it takes a lot of time i'm also a student i'm a worker i got other dreams than um back then gusto mong youtuber but right now it's just not like it's it's just not viable given to we'll, we'll just see we'll just see i think other people deserves um uh, more subscribers than me may mga tao na talaga nangangarap talaga na ng mga youtuber i think they deserve more subscribers than me given i have i i, I don't have like 3000 but 3000 is like a lot it's already a lot but yeah i'm thinking of writing that in julius um potato Potato wrote in, Ramdam na ramdam yung kilig sa dalawang ship sa episode na ito. Kaso may pa-apple nga lang eh. Hmm. Sino kaya yun? Ako nga pala si Kapitan Chago, di ba? Wala eh. Ganun, ganun yung mga ano eh. Protective. Masyadong protective si Kapitan Chago eh. Think of writing that in Potato. Okay. Rexon Macabus Macabus wrote in. Para sa curious uh, sa epek. na wini ka ni Clay um, sa gay lingo. Oh, okay. Gay lingo pala yung gay language. Ang effect sa lita na binagit ni Clay ay nangangulugang may itsura. Maaari din siyang i-consider na pogi o maganda. Okay, that's interesting to know. So, ano pala siya? Um, um, gay language pala siya. Interesting. Yun na napapasin ko, diba? Ang daming slang na nagkagani sa gay language. But, you know, some people hate it. I, I like slangs. I think slangs are just a natural evolution of our language, di ba? Kaya if you compared sa Tagalog na mga, na mga characters sa Maria Clara sa Tagalog natin, it's very different. Tagalog natin is, it has a lot of mixed words with with English. Basically, nagtataglish tayo all the time. Gaya ngayon kung, kung, kung paano magstreta ngayon. Pero yeah, Language is pretty cool. I like languages. Bianca Santo Domingo Villaverde wrote in. Um, ibang level yung kilig this week. Um, this week's episode. Medyo nakakainis na may mga tao talaga ng panira sa momento. <sighs> yeah. Kitang-kita nyo naman sa reaction ko dito, diba? Naintindihan ko si Don, Ch- uh, Don Chago is very protective of his daughter. Um, sinong ama ba naman ang hindi magagalit, ba? Diba? I beginning to wonder if there will be an episode na makakatikim din ng real talk si Don Chago kay Clay tulad kay Tia Isabel from father-daughter perspective. Ooh! Oh, that's a good point. I like that. I really like that. Um, wow, I haven't thought of that. That is very insightful. You know what? 
Um, I think there's a chance. There's a there's always a chance, de ba? Pero kung bibigyan niyo ako ng percent, I think there's an eighty percent chance na Clay is going to talk to Don, uh, to Captain Chago in a father daughter perspective way. And if ever that thing happened, I hope I remember you, Bianca. Because you know what? That's something that I haven't thought about. Okay, that's why I like reading all of your comments because you guys bring me stuff na talagang ma-realize ko. Oh, nga, no? But, but di ko naisip yun. Pero, it can happen. It can happen. Thank you for writing that in, Bianca. Very insightful. I like that comment. Um, Telma Busgano wrote in, Totoo yung sinabi ni Clay na usually sa public school, hindi mo natatapos sa pagbabasa ng noli. Kasi usually hindi lang tatlo kung hindi sobra pa yung nagsishare ng isang book. Kaya nga same din, hindi namin natapos. Ah, talaga? Ganun ba? I mean, interesting. I just find it interesting. Um, Kami sa public school namin, I think wala kaming mismong libro ng noli. Meron ba kaming libro ng noli? Uh, meron kami, o oh, bigay, bigay mismo ng school. Heram lang yon tapos iba walik namin. But yeah, um, it, it just goes to show how broken the education system is in the Philippines. Um, it needs a lot more than just ROTC and teaching how to toothbrush. But yeah, um, it is what it is. Hey, hopefully, kung magasa sa libro, how I think. Dep Ed can at least try to provide projectors in all of the schools and gumawa na ng PowerPoint presentations about chapters on Onimitangere. We have technology, so we can use that instead, di ba? Because back in the day, during my high school days, isang kwarto lang yung merong, uh, merong projector sa amin. And yeah, we also had to rely on books. But yeah, it is what it is. It's hard to learn Nolimitangre and El Filibusterismo as a student kasi, again, you're a student. Bata ka pa, teenager ka pa, ang nasa isip mo ay puro laro. Reading a book is the last thing that you wanted to do, di ba? And if ever you're going to encourage people to read a book, at least make it accessible, at least make it fun. Reading a book and sharing that book with three other people is not fun. It is what it is. But yeah, that's the that's the life that we live in. Thank you for writing that um that in Telma. Um Connie Manalang wrote in. Thank you, Jasper. Panoodin ko din yun yung uh reaction video mo sa interview ni Kiginamar. Thank you so much for that, Connie. Yeah. Um that was a pretty fun interview. Barbie was very bubbly. Barbie was amazing in that interview. It really shows na talagang she really knows how to answer when it comes when you're inside an interview. David, um, medyo naiyapa siya. Parang introverted siya. That's fine. Ako introverted din ako. Pero I'm a guy na, man, if ever I'm in an interview, I will be, I will be full of energy. Diba? Because I like, I like talking a lot whenever I feel comfortable. And I think an interview thing, kung hindi siya, kung hindi siya job interview, if in interview sa other stuff, other topic, I will be very, very madaldal. Thank you for writing that in, Connie. Uh, Wilberto um, Siap no, wrote in, Mali, Malitang screen mo, boy. Mas maganda ko kung lakihan mo ng onte. Try, okay, try natin lalakihan ng onte yung um, yung video ko mamaya. Tinan natin. Um, I tried doing a lot of experimenting with, with the video thing. Basically, I'm just trying to avoid copyright. But yeah, you know what? Try natin lakihin na konti. Thank you for writing that in, Wilberto. Theodore Ginochi. Hey, Theodore Ginochi. Thank you for that um, recommendation sa na gumawa na reaction sa interview mismo. I, I really appreciate that. Epek means it's true. Nagwapo or maganda. Yep, yung nga sabi nila. And you also wrote in, sa episode na ito, nasagot ang hanging question. Oh, ano yun? Noon, kung bakit hindi alam ni Clay ang story noon, ang noon naman tangan ni Kasi kahit Ah, o nga, na kahit itinuro na ito during high school. That's true. So, it's like focus and limited resources. Kaya, hindi niya alam. Yeah, that's true. Tangtaka nga ako, di ba? Sabi ko, 
ba't di alam ni Clyde, yung episode 1 pa to, ba't di alam ni Clyde yung no limit ang rain? Eh, kung college, eh, college student na siya, di ba? College student na siya, tapos di alam yung no limit ang, di ba niya ito na pag ng high school? Turns out, yun pala, it's due to lack of resources when she was in high school. And, you know, that answer is good. Um, I can accept it. And, you know, we can't blame Clay for being in that situation, di ba? Pero, hey, if ever nabasa ni Clay buong story ng Nolim Bitangere at El Filipusirismo when she was in high school, this story right here will be really, really different. I believe this story will never happen. Clay will never go to, non- to the Nolim Bitangere story if it weren't for her ignorance sa libro na ito, di ba? And kapag nabasa ni Nolim Bitangere, no high school, I'm pretty sure na mayiging OFW siya in the future. And lastly, uh, Maria Lourdes wrote in, um, Kilig match talaga kay Fidel at Clay. True? Um, sabi ni Clay, magbabantay siya, pero na-distract kay Fidel. Ayan, tuloy na huli sila. Sabi ni Clay, magbabantay siya. Pero, ayaw nga. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Kasi naglalandian yung dalawa eh. Pero in fairness, kay Cap, Chago, kahit galit na siya, parang kalmado pa rin niya. Yun nga eh, no? Um, clearly, it shows na hindi lang siya sanay pagalitan si Maria Clara. Kasi all her, all his life, si Maria Clara ay masunuring bata. Ngayon lang siya nag-rebelde, di ba? So, it's, at the same time, un- hindi komportable si Kapitan Chago na magalit siya sa kanyang um, anak mismo. Naisip ko lang may chance kaya makaramdam ng, ng konting ingit si Clay kay Maria Clara dahil meron siyang isang ama na mahal na mahal siya at very protective sa kanya. Okay. Uh, yan naman yung naramdaman sa dalawa niya ama sa itong mundo. <coughs> You're the second person na, na nag-mention ng, ng, ng probable connection between Clay at Kapitan Chago. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if the writers are going to explore that part of storytelling given na mapag, uh, mapagmahal si Kapitan Chago sa kanyang anak, di ba? Gaya ng sabi ni Bianca kanina, Bianca ba yun? Kaya gaya ng sabi ni Bianca kanina, there's a, I believe na there's an, an 80% chance na mag-uusap yung si Naklay, pati si Kapitan Chago mismo. Somewhere beyond, somewhere beyond this episode right here. Kapasin ko lang mula nung nag-start ang bagong kabanata, hindi na nagpaparam si Ali at si Prof. Musta na kaya sila? Um, yeah, kamusta na kaya sila? Ah, wala akong pakinap kay Prof eh. Siya, bahala siya. Siya naman, <laughs> siya ang nagpadala dito kay Clay. So, I'm pretty sure na mak- makapangyari yan siya. Pero kay Ali, yung Ali Tap Tap, uh, hindi, hindi ako sure. Pero I'm pretty sure na si Ali Tap Tap, si Ali mismo ay may significance sa story. Kasi hindi naman siyang papakita kung wala naman siyang, pake, kung wala naman siyang kwen, kwenta sa story, di ba? Pero nagpapakita siya. So those are the the comments, you guys. That I was able to read all of your comments. Thank you for writing those in. Um, I've been talking for like 47 minutes na. But now, it's time to watch episode 50. In three, two, one. Lagot. Inakausap kita, Indio. Narito ba ang iyon na amo? Sandali lamang, senyor. Tinatawag siya ng aking kasama. Wensa, bakit ka sumasagot na hindi humarap sa iyo na kausap? Lalo na hindi ako kung sino lamang. Oh my god. Oh my god. Adonai mobile 
Sini palam palasan. Ada, mungkin lah lah. ginagawa ng kriminal na yon sa loob ng iyon na pamamahay. Hindi ko rin batid, senyor. Senyor! Senyor! Patawad, senyor. Hindi namin inabutan ng magnanakaw. Mabilis siya tumakbo at nawala sa aming paningin. El animal! Ginoong Alferez, ikinalulungkot ko na dito pa mismo sa aking tahanan nangyari ang kaguluhan ito. Ngunit, maaari ko bang malaman kung bakit Bigla kayong napasugod dito? Ako'y naparito upang ibigay alam sa iyo na pinaiintulutan na ang permiso upang maganap na ang pasinaya sa itatayo mo na eskwela. Kapit ko rin ang balita na dadalo rin doon ang alkalde. Ngunit hindi ko inaasahan ng isang masamang tao pala maabot ako dito. Pasensya na, senyor. Ngunit maging kami ay hindi namin batid ang ukol sa hindi inaasahang bisita. Ngunit mas nais kong isipin ang magandang balitang inyong hatid. Kung kaya't maraming salamat po. Naway matapos na ang lahat ng ito para sa ating nalalapit na inaugurasyon. Si Senyor, tindi akong walang masasayang na bawat segundo ang ating mga trabado. Todo estará listo para el evento lo antes posible. Gracias. Un placer, señor. Amigo, vaya a tomar pahinga y te haga para mí esa boca. Muy un poco de nada, no sé, Fidel. Seguro hay dito nada más que boca, amigo. Que se me sirva la mano en arroco. No me quedes a mano sermo, no me quedes frailing, galit nada más a mí. Talaga. Kahit naroon si Mara Clara? <laughs> Tila ngayon ka na lang yata nalabik sa pagdala ng misa, amigo. Ito ba ay dahil kay Binibini ba? <laughs> May yun. Ay, yo. Mahari bang tigilin mo na ako sa iyong parang nukso? O sa akin lamang ay, uh... Hindi ba dapat ka magtabango ng iyong pangalan para sa eskwelang itatayo mo? Kaya bakit ka iliban sa misa? Amigo, baka higit ka pang kaso ko laman ng prelig kung hindi ka niya makita sa simbahan. Bueno, may punto ka. Oh my God, sino to? Ay, yung taong dilaw. Mga ginoo, maaari bang huminahon kayo? Bakit pati ang senyor ay hinamak mo? Ito na ang huling araw mo rito. Huwag na, ginoo. Sigurado naman akong hindi sinasadya ng ginawang pangyayari. Ikaw ang lalaki ng isang araw, hindi ba? Ah, masaya ako na nandito ka pa rin pala. 
Ngunit, ikaw ay tila naninilaw. Mas mabuti siguro kung magpahinga ka na muna. Huwag niyo po ang alalaan, Senyor. May sakit siguro siya, no? Gaya niyo po ay hindi na po ako makapaghintay para sa inaugurasyon ng eskwela. Maraming salamat kung gano'n. Hanggang sa muli, Gino. Salamat, Gino. Tayo na, amigo. Ano yung sabi mo naninilaw? Para may sakit pa siya. Alam ko namumutla. Para naninilaw. Ang ganda na siya. Ang nombre de Dios. Espiritu tuong bonum de diste. We do cheret eos. Et man na tuong non prohibuiste ab ore eorum. Et aquam Did this thing sit in? Wow, ngiti ni to. Nak ni kili gian? Tuna ba ang nakakalat ng bayan na ito? Mula nang ako'y mawala. Dun yung kusod nasa. Si Padre Salvi ay may sakit. Kaya ako ang ipinadala rito ng Panginoon upang pukawin ang natutulog nyo ng pananampalataya at takot sa bayang ito. Hindi niya tabatid ang mainit na parusa ng impyernong naghihintay para sa inyong mga indyo. Katamulang kayo ng konting ginto. Akala nyo ko sino na kayo. Ang indyo. Kahit na anong bihis, oh kahit na anong din ako. Na <laughs> ay indyo pa rin. Ang indyo, lakas na epekto na ito ni Padre sa ano, ha? Padre Damas. Ang nakasalubong ang pare. Bababa ito mula sa kanyang kabayo. Magbibigay respeto. At ah, muli tama ito ngayon, ano? Ito yung sermon. Kapag ka wala na sa kanyang paningin, ang pare, yun yung nasa ano, yun nasa libro eh. Hindi ba yung na rin sa limot? Ha? Kayo ba ay matutulad na rin sa mga bulok na kaluluwa ng mga insik na walang pananampalataya? Tara. Tagal nang sinasabot ng mga dayuhan. Oh my God. Tumuluwa na ba na ko? Bruh. Mga dayuhan na kampon ni Satanas. Coming from the Mananakop himself. Yeah, that's about. At kayo ng mga ito, hindi magtatagumpay ang balak ninyong laktunin ang bayan na ito. Oh my God! You don't know. Tidak isi nasi alfaris. Oh, siapa siapa yang berada di kampung? Apa yang terjadi? Apa yang terjadi? Siapa yang berada di kampung? 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 Hindi, binago ba nila? Bali, Tukador! Magsiupo kayo! Hindi pa tapos ang misa! Ano kasi na rin yung mga pintuan dito eh? Mapipigil ng demonyo ang araw na ito! Keno! Ano nangyayari? Ang solasyon! Ben, tama na! Jesus Maria Josep, sino lamang anak ng Dios nang nasa tamang isip ang gagawa nito? Nung kanong ka pa nangyari ito? Dasan. Baliw to si Clay. Sentao todo. Adon de bai. Hindi pa tapos ang misa! Ba't kayo? Ha? Mga 
guardia si mette. Oh my god, tu ne chiedi un milionario. naabot ang tao sa tore. Hindi maaaring tumugtog lamang itong mag-isa. Sa'yo rin ang labas ng simbahan. Kaya kung di pa nakakaliyo ang isa na ora mismo. Wala, si Crispin yan. Minumulto ka na. Ah, si ano? Tama na nga ba eh? Ay, hindi. Si Elias pala to. Mag-iingat kayo sa pasinay ng inyong eskwela kan bukas. Wow, binago na na. Ay, hindi. Never mind. Ikaw. At bakit mo ako pinag-iingat? Basta, huwag kayong lalapit sa bukay. Sa malaking bato. Interesting. Clay. Clay, saan ka pupunta? Magbaba niya lang po ako. Hindi. Huwag marito ka. Ay, ako talaga napakatigas ng ulo ng bata. Ay, kapasada. Good. Sandali. Elias, sandali. Bini, Bini. Bakit ka nagpakita dito? Minsan mo na iniligtas ang buhay ng senyor. Ngunit, Muling malalagay ang kanyang buhay sa peligro. Ano? Hmm. Bantayan niyo siya sa pasinaya bukas. Lalo na sa taong bilang. Taong bilang? Ano yun? Literal na yelo? What? Sandali! Sandali lang, Elias! Pinibiling try? Oh my God. Anong pinag-uusapan niya ng piloto? Ah, nakilala niya si piloto. Anong ginagawa mo dito? Ha? Ginagamit mo pa ang simbahan para makipagtagpo sa isang lalaki? Ay, Hindi mo na ginalang ang tahanan ng Diyos. Yan na naman. Tayo na. Tayo na sa akin. Tiyak, tiyak. 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 Paano mo nasabi na nasa panghalip ang buhay ni Kristosto mo? Eh, yun kasi yung sabi ni Elias eh. May nabanggit pa nga siyang taong dilaw. Tapos bigla na lang siyang umalis. Umiksena na yung anti mong judgmental. Nakatitiyak ako na hindi, hindi mapipigilan si Crisosto mo na ituloy ang pasinay na kanyang eskwela. Kaya kailangan, kailangan na roon din ako. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Ayino, Bas. Hindi ka pupunta sa pasinaya ng eskwelahan ng anak ng ereheng yon. Solo bus a quedarte aquí. Hmm. So, kaya talaga hindi siya nakapunta. Padre, Padre lang pagandang siya. araw pong muli. Buenos dias po. Ano po tapasubot kayong muli? Por eso me enterado del plan de tu hija. Na si Rao ay pupunta doon sa seremonya ng eskwelahan Ibarra. Ay. Clarita? Hindi pa ba malinaw ang utos ko sa'yo kagabi? Ngunit papa, nasa panganib ang buhay. Senyorita! Oh my God, manahimik ka. Tingnan niyo ba narinig ang inyong papa? Dito ka lang. Hindi lang si Maria. Pati ikaw. Pati ako? Padre, mabuti pa. Doon muna tayo sa komedor. Kumain muna po kayo. Vamos. Vamos ako meron. Clay, bakit mo naman ako pinigilan na sabihin sa papa na nasa panganib ang buhay ni Christos? Oh, eh, narinig ng nino mo. 
Malay ba natin kung involve yung kontrabidang person na yan sa assassination attempt ng jowa mo? Jesus Maria Jose, magsalita ka nga na maayos. Hindi ko talaga naiintindihan ng iyong mga wiliwi ka. Basta huwag kayong magalala, senyorita. Gagawin ko pa rin ang lahat para makatakas ako at makapunta doon bukas. At sisiguraduhin kong walang mangyayaring masama kay Senyor Ibarra. Okay. G? Parang dapat magiging. Hindi ako. May kita ulit natin itong kapal din ito sa... Uh... Senyora? Si Clyde, nasaan na? Kanina ko pa siya hinahanap. Natapos na lahat ang agahan. Buong akala ko po'y nakahiga po sa kama. Ngunit... Mga una na nakataklob ng kumot lamang ang nadatnan ko. Tumakas na mo. Here, blasphema. <gasps> Saan po kaya siya nagpunta? Nakatitiyak ako na mukhang may ginagawa na ng kalokohan yung babae niyan. Santisima, ano bang ginawa ko para papasukay ng babae niyan dito sa tahanan natin? Ay! Sibuk dah aku. Dalam bang demonyo nanti itu. Aabot ka, Clay. Ito na ako, Sir Ibarra. So near. It's so, It's so far. <laughs> oh my God, yung professor. At ano naman ang gagawin mo? Binibining Maria Clara Infantes? Well, may nagtatanong kanina sa comment replies kung nasa na si professor. Yan na, nagpakita na. Narinig ka ni professor. Long time no see ya. Ang galing niyo talagang tumahimik. Tuwing may magaganap ng malaking eksena, nandun si Sir Pooh. Masyado ng maraming revision ang ginagawa mo. At hindi ko napapayagang pang gawin ang mga kahibangan na ikapapahamak mo. Revision daw? Revision? Balit ni Elvis sa story? Ay bunga ng mga tulong ng kapitan. Gobernador Filio at ng sentrong pamahalaan na siyang sumuri sa kahalagahan ng eskwela ng ito sa bayan ng San Diego. At bukod dyan ay kailangan din nating magbigay pugay sa simbahan at sa mga alagad dito sa kanilang pagdalo upang bigyang bendisyon ang ating sisimulang gawain. Narapit si Clay. Teka na. Ay, ay, sadali, oh sir. Sadali, kalma lang. Itawan niyo ako. Kailangan ko masiguradong ligtas si Sir Ibarra. Huwag po na nga ituloy ang kahibangan mo. Inuulit ko. Ang mga magaganap ay nakatakda na sa kwento at wala ka nang mababago. 
Mali po kayo, sir. Nagbabago mo po. Slowly, but surely. Paano mo na sabi? Hindi mo nabasa yung libro. Nagiging palaban na po siya, sir. Hindi na siya yung Maria Clara nababasa natin dati na sumunod-sunuran lang. Proud ka pa, ha? Ngunit higit sa lahat, Anayos kong taos pusong magpasalamat sa mga estudyante na siyang tumulong para sa mga estudyante. Tala, welcome back. Walakpakan ninyo ang inyong mga sarili pagkat kayo ang tunay na pag-asa ng bayan ng San Diego. Viva San Diego! Kasap sa mga ibaro! Viva San Diego! Lalo mo lang sinasaktan ang mga tauhan dito dahil pinaaasa mo. Wala ka nang magagawa sa malubhang sakit ng bayang ito ang mga tauhang pa-terminal na. Kung ganun, sir. A ano po bang mangyari kay Sir Ibarra? Mamamatay po ba siya? Ano ba kasing ending nito, sir? Oo. May mamamatay ngayon. Pero wala kang magagawa. Oh my God, huwag yung... Ibibitin nila to for next for Monday. Sabi na nga pa, hindi natin may kita yung sin. Ang herang babae niyo na nakatira sa bahay nila Maria Clara ay kampon ng Diablo. Tunay ngang nakakawak, uh, hindi mo makasama ngayon yung binamahal. Lalo na kung di alam ng isa na nangunguli lang sa kanya. Anong gagawin natin, primo? Hindi ko may nakagahan si Clarita. Anong magagawa ko? Ito payo ng kanyang nino. Ma'am, nakasakit na. Isang pagtitipon? Ang pagtitipon ay para lamang sa mga kapitan at opisyales. Ikaw ang bagong kura na ipinalit ah, sa ito aroganting siya. damaso. Excelencia, narito na po ang ginawa. Ah, siya pala yun. Okay. Um, paano ba to? Actually, pag-usapan natin to. Itong sabangan na to. Um, please. Don't, walang spoiler sana. Wala lang. Um, Ito pala yung tura niya. Um, actually, this is one, isa sa mga chapters sa libro na gustong gusto ko. Kasi good vibes siya, basically, sa libro. I don't want to spoil anything, pero uh, basically, good vibes itong, itong chapter na to. Pero anyways, so you know what? Let's talk about this one. Let's start with this one. Alam niyo, kung titignan ko yung YouTube na yun, tas kung ano yung, kung ano yung manayari this week. So we got this, got this, this. 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hindi, ito. 1, 2, 3. Alam nyo, this week has been, it's been fine. It's been fine. It's more like, I think this week feels like somewhat of a feeler. Parang, parang ramdam ko si parang 80% of the content this week was basically just, just Clay and um, Maria Clara just having fun. You know, you know, you know, that's the basic gist that I go throughout the the entire stuff here, which is fine, which is fine. Some people might um might see it differently, but I think this this is um this is a fine week. Para sa Maria Clara Tibara. There are stuff that happened, de ba? Pero The best part about this week is basically the MC Squared tandem. Itong scene nga lang na to, 
Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, this scene never happened. Kung ano nangyari sa eskwelahan? Kung ano nangyari sa eskwelahan, doon nangyari yung usapan between ni Elias pati ni Ibarra. Diba? Kasi after mawala si Elias during those days na pinatay yung alligator o yung crocodile, ang next na usapan ni Elias pati ni Ibarra sa pagkakaalam ko sa libro ay after na nangyari sa school. So, lahat ng ito, um, hindi nangyari sa libro sa pagkakaalam ko. Tapos itong misa na scene na to, feeling ko itong misa na to ay para to sa ano eh, para to sa, sa fiesta mismo eh. Chapter list. Um, no, di. Kasi naman mangyaring fiesta ng San Diego. Yung sermon na to, para sa para to sa fiesta mismo ng San Diego eh. pero at this moment right here in this show hindi pa nangyari yung fiesta eh so pinaaga na lang yung ano pinaaga na lang yung yung chapter ng ng ano ng ng sermon pinaaga na lang ng onte sermon city and Tama, pinaaga nga nila. Pinaaga nila. Tama ba? Pinaaga nga ba nila? O nagkakamali ako? Anyways, anyways, nalilito ako sa ano ko. Um, nalilito ako sa timeline ko. Kailangan ko rin basahin yung libro. Pero like this sermon. Grabe yan. Grabe yung impekto ni Padre Damaso, no? Naram- naramdaman ko yung pinagsasama ni Padre Damaso kasi parang apat na beses yata yung ano. Nagyon. During the, during the entire time. So, talagang, kung ano yung nararamdaman ng mga tao dito, yun din na nararamdaman ko habang nangyari itong scene to. So, kudos to Padre Damaso for making me more tired because of this scene. Gusto ko na matulog tuloy. Kung late ko na-upload yung, kung late ko na-upload yung video na to, ay ano, kasalanan ni Padre Damaso dahil natulog agad ako at hindi ko na edit yung video. Pero, you know, kung ano man pinasasabi ni Padre Damaso dito, it's just... Sa, sa libro lang lumalabas na na parang bossy lang siya. Napaka-bossy niya. Again, tinatrashtalk niya yung mga indyo. Tinatrashtalk niya lang yung mga indyo and stuff like that. Yung the fact na yung gusto pa niyang bumaba yung mga indyo sa kalesa na lang para lang magmano sa pare at kailangan pang lumuhod. ba diba? Goes to show the the narcissism, the narcissistic character ng mga pare during that time. And yes, yes, gen- generalize ko yung mga pare back in the day sa Pilipinas. Kasi I think that's like from what I'm reading in other history um, articles, history books, yun ang, yun ang nararamdaman ko about sa mga pare sa Pilipinas during that time na hindi Pilipino. Um, ano ba ba? Itong, hindi ko malala kung nangyari itong kampana scene na to sa libro mismo. Alam mo, basta yung tinanga natin ano, Tignan natin itong The Sermon na to. Even you are now content kissing the prior on a Jewish prank. Father Damaso declares that the individuals would get what they deserve and that God would punish them for the return. At the end of the sermon, Elias supports the body and wants him in seven danger. Ah, okay. So, nangyari nga pala to. Ito nga pala yan. Tama, ito nga pala yung ending. Pero I think hindi ito nangyari, hindi ito nangyari mismo sa loob ng simbahan eh. Nangyari ito mismo sa ano eh. Sa bahay ni Ibarra nung gabi yun. Okay. Pero I think that, that, I, th- I think that was a nice change na ginawa nila dito. 
Kasi I would like to see Elias wearing something different, di ba? And eh, nakita natin na kabarong Tagalog si Elias dito. Para siyang assassin. Or hitman. Um, what else? Ano may pwedeng pag-usapan natin dito? I find this scene interesting. They try telling the story here differently, given na merong, you know, yung turog ng kampana, um, merong background music and stuff. It remind me, it reminded me of that scene in a previous episode kung saan, ano ba yun? Anong, anong episode ba yun? Kung saan pinapagita yung, ano, yung mga corruption, diba? yung corruption sa pare, corruption sa gobyerno. It, it reminded me of that scene kasi I've seen this kind of trope in other media before. And, um, man, I wanted to like, talk more about what's happening here, pero I, I just got like, I got nothing at all. I am There's nothing much to analyze here other than what we're saying in front of the screen. I just like seeing this though because ito yung mismong chapter na to, ito yung mismong report ko sa school. Uh when I was when I was in high school back in the day. But I never imagined na ganito pala itsura ng ano ng event na yon. Kasi ang ano, sa sa, sa Nolimitang Rebooks namin, yung drawing doon, ano eh, for this chapter, yung drawing doon, ay yung aftermath ng buong scene to. So, yeah. So, yeah. Pero, again, I think, putting back the professor here, para mag-usap sa dalawa, I think this is a good way to remind the viewers na, you know, kung ano yung gawin ni Clay, wala mangyayari. Kasi, just like I said, the ink is, is dry, di ba? But I find it interesting na that was like the best analogy na pwede natin i-compare dito na nagaling sa professor mismo. Lahat ng ginagawa ni Clay ay basically revisions lang. Diba? Revisions lang ng Noli Mitangare. It will have the same ending. It will have different minor changes sa gitna mismo ng, ng novela, pero at the, same, at the same time, it's just following the same blue, uh, blueprints, diba? So, the analogy na ang ginagawa ni Clyde the whole time ay basically revisions, then yeah, I think that's the that's that's a great way how um that's a great way to put it. She's just doing revisions, pero you know, oh my god, kailan matika sa ulo mo? Now curious lang but ayo na lang spoil ni professor na hindi. Kasi alam naman natin, 'di ba? Alam naman natin, hindi to spoiler. Hindi naman mamatay si Ibarra dito, eh. Hindi mamatay si Ibarra dito. Pero ba't ayaw sabihin ni Professor mismo na hindi nga mamatay si Ibarra? Ba't pa niya kailangan itago? Ba't pa kailangan niya sabihin na merong mamatay? Pero ayaw niya maging specific, di ba? Unless, bawal niya talaga i-spoil yun. Kasi, maybe it's a part of the rules. Kapag magte-teleport ka ng tao sa novela mismo, bawal ka maging, bawal, bawal ka mag-spoil. Baka yun yata. Pero, uh, na, na, nagtaka din ako, di ba yung kanina? Um, balak hilahin ni, ni Professor si Clyde to, to someplace else. Dadalhin ba siya sa ibang lugar? O parang tin, tinitigilan lang yung si Clyde? na mangi na mangi mangi elam sa mangyayari sa susunod diba yung mangyayari dito sa eskwelahan na to pero at the same time kung alam naman ni professor na 
na dry na nga ink. Kung anong gawin ni Clay sa skwelahan na to, sa, sa skwelahan na sina to, sa event na to. Kung sino may namatay sa novela, yun din naman ang makamatay sa next episode, ba? So, ba't pa kailangan mga ilam ni Professor mismo? Di ko, di ko lang mag-guess. Unless, yung revisions ni Clay na ginagawa niya, may chance na may ibang tao mamatay sa story, ba? May chance na may ibang character ang pwede mamatay on the next episode. So, again, yung... I think the writers put themselves in 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 the corner here whether how much change can clay can clay do within a chapter um in the books diba but at the same time um it's not necessary it's not a big deal whether she's changing something in the books or not all that we can do is just to watch her adventures Because by the end of the day, we're just going to see the entirety of the No Limit Tangari story in, in this uh, medium sa show na to. But other than that, ito makikita na natin na yung nga magkakasakit na si ano, Maria Clara. Um, yun din sabi ko, just maybe last week na sinabi ko, marapin na tayo sa No, actually, sabi ko last week na malayo pa tayo sa ano eh, sa chapters na magkakasakit si Maria Clara. But it turns out, ayan, magkakasakit na siya. Baka naka-COVID siya or something like that. But yeah, you know, I, know I, I got nothing else about about this episode. Wala akong makuwang iba other than um, it's a fine episode. I mean, this week has been fine. But, but hey, I I enjoyed the I I enjoyed this week's episodes, diba? They were really fun. A lot of N- M- MC square MC squared moments. But yeah, hopefully next week will be a lot different. Maybe a lot bigger. Especially when this character has has arrived. Anyways, that's my reaction to this episode. What do you guys think? And see you guys next week. Goodbye and take care.